welcome back to Sweet Talk. I'm Charity Hitt, author of the blog Sweets by Charity. Now, as we approach the holiday season, I wanted to share with you guys a recipe for something that my mom used to make all the time, and that's coffee can pumpkin bread. Now, this recipe is a little bit different than the way my mom used to make it, but the way that she made it that made it so special was in a coffee can. It's always really moist. It's a perfectly round shape that you can cut into slices, perfect for taking to your holiday parties or wrapping up and giving as a gift for Christmas. So it's really easy. We're going to get started today by separating our wet and our dry ingredients. And what you want to do is you want to take all of your wet ingredients into one bowl and you want to cream them together with your sugar. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to separate those dry ingredients, the remaining ones, and put those into another larger bowl. You want to take those wet ingredients and pour them into the larger bowl with all of your dry ingredients. From there, you're going to take your coffee can, grease the inside of that pan lightly with Crisco, and you want to put a little bit of flour in there, shake it all up so that it's fully coated with flour and with Crisco. So what we're going to do is pour this into that coffee can. You only want to fill it about two-thirds of the way full. So after that, you're going to take your coffee can, just like this, you're going to put it into your oven, it's preheated at 350 degrees, and you're going to let it cook in there for about 45 minutes to an hour. You want to check on it after about 45 minutes. Once it's cool, grab a plate, put it on top of that coffee can, then you want to securely hold both of them, flip it over. shake that coffee can off the top. That's really all there is to it. It's super simple. You can turn it on its side, slice it up. It makes perfectly round pieces and it's great to serve at your holiday get togethers. You can also wrap it up whole as a loaf, put it in some decorative tissue and hand it out as a holiday gift. Now for this and other recipes, head over to my blog at sweetsbycharity.com. For this episode of Sweet Talk, I'm Charity Hit, and thank you for watching.